crazy for it. Look at that. This is not a drill. This is for real. There we go. You can see why they're apex predators. Their grill. This is the craziest mission yet. Although sharks rarely bite humans, the tiger shark is reported to be responsible for a large share of fatal shark bite incidents. And it's regarded as one of the most dangerous shark species, second only to the great white. Tiger sharks, a species whose numbers declined by over 75% at the end of the last century. And they're currently classified as vulnerable. But I've sent my old buddy James Glancy to laser measure some tiger sharks off Tiger Beach in the Bahamas. These sharks are huge! And he's going to join us to tell us more about how and why. All right, hi guys, it's James Glancy. I'm now in Gran Bahama. And this is where the expedition gets serious. We're going to Tiger Beach to find some huge tiger sharks. This is our boat, the Gone Astray. And I want to introduce you to the crew. We've got Jay and Jamie. And behind the camera, Alonzo, who you're going to meet in a minute. What's going, going on, man? You good? You ready for this? Yeah. I've dived with sharks all around the world, and I've been with you guys doing the hammerheads, but what's the difference in the rules? The number one rule is always know where those tiger sharks are. So we're going to be giving you numbers down there, which represent, you know, how many tigers we have with us at that moment. So you will see me, Jamie, or Alonzo showing you, you know, numbers of how many tigers are there. So if we tell you five, you need to be able to locate five tiger sharks. Okay. So if you can't see one, it's yes. probably behind it's you. Somewhere close, <laughs> for sure. What we are doing is pretty crazy. I mean, people don't go walking down the street with a tiger. You know what I'm saying? We're essentially doing the same thing. And feeding them. And feeding them, yes. There's one more thing I need to do, and that's introduce the other crew member who's <laughs> with us. Here he is. Here's Alonzo. What's up, yes. guys? How's it going, Alonzo? It's going great, man. He's also a shark wrangler. What's your role today, Alonzo? Oh, I'm just going to be safety today. Safety. safety? Yeah. So you're going to have my six? Yep. The Neil Watson shark team right here. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to tickle some tigers. That's underwater. So we have mainly Caribbean reefs at the back, as well as a couple of big beautiful lemons. So the lemons are a little more yellow looking. So they go nuts if you throw in a piece of bait. Yeah, you know, the, the Caribbean reefs go crazy for it. Look at that. It's wild. This is not a drill. This is for real. <laughs> Alonzo, what are you up to? Getting the bait box ready. Got some nice juicy bonita. Nice and oily. Leaves a good scent trail in the water. Brings us the beauties. Okay, we've arrived here at Tiger Beach. We've barely been here five minutes and we are totally surrounded by sharks. We've got big lemons and Caribbean reef. And as you can see, Alonzo, Jay preparing the bait. It's just sending them wild. No sign of the tigers yet. I know they're here somewhere. <laughs> We're gonna go and find them. So on these dives, I'm using a combination of full face masks so I can speak and uh, you'll get commentary of what we're doing underwater. This is the camera that I'm filming in on at the moment. The Nauticam housing with a nice big dome port. On top of that, I've got mounted two lasers. When I turn these lasers on, I can lock them onto the shark. And then when we finish the dive and we analyze the videos afterwards, we can get a fairly accurate measurement of just how big the sharks are. These two arms are floats, but I like to use them for stability. And inside here is the Sony A7S3 camera, which I film on and you should see some beautiful shots coming out of that once we've done the tiger shark dives. But that's enough on the kit. The chum is in the water. It's time to dive. Here we go. Wow. Already there's loads of sharks everywhere. Visibility is great. There's a tiger shark. A small female. But she stood about 10 feet long. Here she comes. Cruising in. Look at those beautiful striped markings. 
That's why they're called the tiger shark. They can grow over five meters long. That's over 16 feet. Tigers are a threatened species. They're caught by fishermen for their fins. But here in the Bahamas, they're protected. That was close. She is beautiful. But there's still only one tiger shark. Where are the rest of them? They're not going to take enough bait. Okay, it looks like we're running out of chum. We're going to have to do another dive to find the rest of the tiger sharks. That's dive one completed. We had an amazing experience with a young female tiger shark. But now it's time to find the big girls. We're just going to go down. And this time we're going to be measuring with them and I think it's about to get a lot more hectic. Dive two and there's sharks everywhere already. There's two huge tigers. Here we go. You can see why they're apex predators. Only killer whales and great whites are above them. Look at the way they're circling. They're so dominant. They're like tanks the way they come in. They're queuing up, going straight for the bait. Check out those teeth. They're like serrated steak knives. So they can rip through bone and flesh and that allows them to eat turtles and big, big fish. Those big black eyes are covered by something called an epitating membrane. That eyelid closes to protect the eye. We're completely surrounded now by tiger sharks. It's getting a bit hectic down here. The skill is to gently push them away. Guide them around you into an open space. That's how you gently push them away. Perfect example. I did not see that one. You need to keep looking about. They keep creeping up behind us. These sharks are huge. 14, 15 feet and they're all females. Just look at the size of them. We're now getting two or three at once. We need to be careful. Plus there's loads of reef sharks. It's total shark chaos down here. Sharks everywhere. Reef sharks, tiger sharks, they're all around us. Five adult tiger sharks. This is amazing. They are everywhere. Bear grills, this is the craziest mission yet. Absolutely incredible. Dive. We got five different tiger sharks five. down there. So you have tequila, lady hook, panhead, Tarantino, Tarantino, Tarantino. Yeah, yeah. Tarantino. and then the fifth little, that um, little one with those scars all over, yeah. we don't have a name for it. You, you needs a name. A name for it, yeah. He needs yeah, a name. Yeah. That, that, that needs to be a competition on the there YouTube you go. channel. There you go. Name, name the, tiger shark. the young female tiger shark. A very, very special dive. Yeah. That's why they call it Tiger Beach. Beautiful white sand. And there's loads of tiger sharks. Absolutely love it. Definitely, man. Awesome. It's a beautiful dive, man. Beautiful dive. Woo! Well, I'm just back ashore after diving at Tiger Beach, and it was every bit as amazing as Bear said it would be. We had five huge female sharks all around us, and at times it did get pretty hectic and chaotic. You just got to remember these are predators and you have to show them respect. You've got to be on your guard at all time and you need eyes in the back of your head, which is why I was so grateful to have such an amazing safety team with me. But I think we got some amazing footage of those sharks and we managed to measure them as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing the data to find out just how big those tiger sharks got. For me, that is mission accomplished. 
James, fantastic job on what you've done yet again, making a huge difference in the world of conservation to protect these incredible predators and to show the world that sharks are not to be feared, but respected and loved.